the joke about Oracle sticks around because there's a lot of truth to it. They're a law firm <laughs> with a software department. <laughs> Not only does Oracle own the trademark for Java, they own the trademark for JavaScript, and they didn't have anything to do with creating it. So what's a JavaScript? The programming language that was created 30 years ago. Not by Oracle. It was actually created at Netscape. How did Oracle end up with Netscape? After Netscape created it under a different name, they went to Sun Microsystems that had just launched Java. Java was getting so much buzz in the industry. Net Netscape somehow talked to Sun executives into agreeing to let them change the name of their language to JavaScript. Because everyone, you know, including me at the time, was all excited about Java. They got permission to change the name and use it as much as they want, but Sun had the trademark on JavaScript. Years and years later, Oracle ended out buying Sun Microsystems and ended out with this trademark. So we have a language that has nothing to do with Java, named after Java, owned by a company that has nothing to do with Java. No products that have anything to do with JavaScript beyond what, their website? In order to have a trademark in the U.S., you have to be using it. You have to have a product with that in the name. You can't lock up a word that you're not using. We have a trademark on Speedify because we have a product <laughs> called Speedify. The whole point of trademark is consumer protection. So when consumers go and buy something with that name on the shelf, they're getting it from the company they think they are. So if you're not actually selling a product, you shouldn't have a trademark. Learn some new every day from you, Alex. That's natural, right? <laughs> <laughs> In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.